Okay, what we have here is the solid state Bedini pulse generator. This is the this is the baby to the one I showed in the last video of HHO gas made from three volts DC. Basically, what we have is this is a circuit I designed off of the information of the Bendini patent. That's the patent number right there. That's the drawing number. And this is going to be on my website as soon as Vistaprint gets her act together so I can start uploading more pictures. Everybody's had a problem loading stuff lately, and they promised me they'd get it fixed today, but they didn't. Anyhow, this is some of the notes. So you'll be able to download this drawing on my uh, LeBlanc Adventures Academy org when I get my website fixed <clears throat> some of the notes anyhow what we have here is a <clears throat> this is a very hefty coil it's got uh, copper coated welding rod inside uh, for the magnetic core and it's uh, let's see if I can find it's l1. I think it's L1. L1 is right there. Number 16, 10, around a two inch steel exhaust pipe. I split on the middle. Okay, I guess you have to split that exhaust, that pipe because of uh, eddy currents, so you have to split it. Uh, not sure how many turns. This thing is about, mm, that coil is pretty big. It's about a four inch coil in there. You know, I got magnets on the, these are actually microwave oven magnets on the end of the wood. Uh, it's the frame is made out of wood. Inside should be a steel uh, exhaust pipe full of uh, welding rods, which is kind of a Bandini technology. He uses copper-coated welding rod for magnetic core for the schoolgirl projects and stuff. And what we have are the uh, diodes, which are the flyback diodes. I guess D1 or D3, D4. D2 is a... Uh, mm, what would you call that? I forget. Can't remember everything. That's why I got to keep good notes. These notes are not only do I share them, but for my own good, so I remember what I did five, eight years later, as well as the YouTube videos. So basically, these co uh, diodes are, are trans uh, funneling the uh, flyback from that coil <clears throat> output. So this is what it looks like in the front here. You've got uh, base current. And you're going to find in the course base current. Well, the base current, basically the course are resistors. And then the fine is a uh, wire wound. This should be R1. Wire wound pot. Mm. Yeah, what's the number on the R1? R1, here, here's R1 right here. It's a 1K at 2 watts, 10 turn pot. That's the allied part number. So you can fine tune a frequency on this thing. Now you can do a internal frequency based on the, these two resistors here, coarse and fine, or you can turn this thing to open and input. There's a BNC jack right here for external pulse. So if you want to hook a pulse generator to that, which we do, you can get the frequency you need. Now you need to go... Whatever that coil needs is the frequency it's going to do. You can't just give it any frequency you want and expect it to work. Also, these diode or the transistors here are matched. They're very closely matched as far as current, what they do. You have to make a little circuit for that, plug them in, test them, put a resistor, uh, and document what the, uh, what the output on those, and then you match the output so they're closely matched. I right, buy a whole bunch of them match them all and document what they are put numbers on them so i know which which ones i can match up and you've got basically input now here's for a critical super critical five to seven volts dc at six amps you can't just give this thing anything you want 
you go above seven amps or seven volts uh you're gonna heat those transistors up and burn them out uh <clears throat> so that's basically what the the bigger circuit that i had in the other video last video was it's just a bigger monster version of this bigger bigger diodes uh in fact i got a lot more tr this has got three transistors in parallel i have that thing is capable of about 12 or something something huge i only use four but it's capable of much more bigger coil so anyhow you're gonna be able to find this uh, drawing so you can print it out easily on the leblanc inventors academy.org when i uh, get the photos loaded up and i'll put a link on this video once that all happens so there you have it